Good evening and salutations, my GH fans. <laughs> Let's start off with Alexis and Gregory. I don't understand why is she pushing so hard to get this man to work there. You know, he says there's a conflict of interest. He can't work there. He even tells her, you know, listen, just let it go. Drop it. And she still is super insistent on him working there. And he already said, you know what, listen, I contribute anyway. You know, I, I still come in. I, I still, you know, help you brainstorm ideas and stuff like that. I'm still, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still here. So what was the difference if I do it, you know, a couple of times whenever I can, as opposed to me just, like, I'm still here. You know, he already has another job. I don't understand why she's pushing so hard. And then there's one point where, you know, they're talking about the article and the hook killing and everything like that. And she's like, oh, well, you know, I couldn't have did it without you. And I'm like, uh, you, you really could have. <laughs> it's just like, you really could have. I don't understand why you're giving this man so much credit for. You really could have. But, okay, sure. There's even one point where she's talking to Diane. And, you know, Diane is like, you know, he, he has another job. Like, he can't he can't do it. Like, let it go. Why are you so insistent on it? Like, you should just drop it. Like, if the university says he can't work there, he can't work there. And she's just like, no, well, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just like, okay. Um, I'm going to be honest. That whole scene with Diane and Robert was just pointless. Absolutely 100% pointless. This is why I said before, if they would have killed off Diane, would that have really been so bad? I mean, really, would that have really been so bad? They talked about Holly and just a bunch of other stuff that, like, to be honest, it, it really didn't go anywhere. It didn't go anywhere. Just an absolute 100% waste of a scene. So I got my girl Christina back. And this is what we get. <laughs> nice little brunch or lunch. Oh, no, no, it was an anniversary with TJ and Molly. Davis girls and TJ. Oh me, oh my. The only thing that actually came from that whole scene was towards the end. Um with the home pregnancy kit. Because Molly a couple of times, she's like, oh, I don't really want to drink. You know, it's just, it's, it's going to be a little bit, a little teaspoon or whatever. You know, TJ was like, I can't work because I got to go to, he was like, I can't, I can't um, drink because I got to go to work or whatever. And Sam wasn't really feeling too well or anything like that. So, you know, Christina was like, hey, listen, I'm not, I'm not drinking alone. Okay? I'm not going to be that person. So somebody in this house is going to be drinking with me. Okay, fine. I have a little teensy weensy, whatever. I put out a thumbnail before saying, is Molly pregnant? Now, Christina does find a home pregnancy test, and she confronts Sam about it. When Dante comes in, she confronts Sam about it. And I'm like, mm, I don't think it's Sam's. I, I feel it's Molly. Yeah, there was one point with Chase. And Dante was talking about kids, you know, if you wanted kids, and Dante was like, oh, well, we didn't really talk about that. I'm like, at what point was you going to sit there and bring that up? I mean, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand that. Um, I don't know what that's about. Chase. Chase, 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 Chase. Dante's like, yo, listen, you need to be careful with this whole link thing because you lost your job twice. And if you go about this in the wrong way, you can wind up just blowing this whole thing. But of course, Chase is all like, oh, truth, justice, and the Captain America way or whatever. And I get that he wants to sit there and help these girls out and stuff like that. But Dante's like, listen, it has to be a better way than you trying to do this by yourself. And, um, you know, if the board gets an idea of what you're doing, they ain't going to be too happy about it. 
But of course, you know, Chase wants to do what Chase wants to do because clearly this man has not learned anything. I mean, I don't understand how, well, you punch two civilians and you somehow think that you should still be a cop. It's just beyond me. But, um, yeah, there's that. Maxie in Brooklyn. Um, Maxie was sitting there talking about the whole Austin thing and if he's okay and she didn't want to really ask and stuff like that. Which, I'm just like, you can just text him, sit there and see how he's doing. I mean, like, really? I mean, just call the dude. I mean, I mean, I mean, great. I say text is, is it is kind of callous, but it's better than you just not doing anything. Um, Brooklyn Smith is talking about Sasha and how Chase is moving on with Sasha because he's he's been spending a lot of time together and blah 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 blah. And then when Sasha comes in, because Sasha was at Brando's um, grave, um, which you know I don't even know what to say about that scene. But anyway. So she gets to she gets to Kelly's, or whatever that place is called, and it's this awkward tension that's going on. And towards the end of their conversation, because you know Max is like, "Yo, listen, why don't you talk to Sasha? If you think that there's something going on, talk to her about it. See, see what's up." I'm surprised. Well, I mean, they are singing together. Because I was gonna sit there and say, I thought that she'd be like, "Oh, well, you know, he's moving on with Blaze or something like that." But whatever. But towards the end, Sasha was like, all right, so what's going on? You know, like, there's clearly some tension that's going on between me and you. And she's like, does it have anything to do with Chase? So we're going to sit there. Because, you know, for, for, the hot, for, for a while, she wasn't saying anything. She just kept dodging around the questions and everything else. I'm like, okay, cool. I can see this is going nowhere. <sighs> Laura asked Eileen to go take a look at um, the bodies that were, well, one of the bodies that was recovered, which was Anna. And at first, you know, I was like, ah, why would you entrust me with such, you know, with, with such, such a task like that, and you don't even trust me. You know, you kicked me out of meetings the more time than I can count. You've been very rude, very dismissive to me. Why, why would you trust me now? So she gives this long... So an excuse of why she trusted, you know, why she did what she did, and she's apologizing, and also she's not going to run from there again. I just love how we're just going to totally forget about the fact that, well, she was only mayor because um Spencer tampered with the um the voting box. But I, I guess we're just going to sit there and act like that didn't happen. But she did say that she was not going to be running anymore, which is great because it seemed like she wasn't really doing anything from the start. So. Yeah, um, Eileen does go down there, she talks to the more guy, the more guy just leaves, she's like, hey, listen, I gotta go and do something, I'll be right back, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just gonna sit there and leave her there with a bunch of dead bodies by her, bro, just because you're cool with that, you handle that every day, I don't know if regular civilian, okay, sure, whatever, so he leaves, then all the spooky stuff starts to happen, the lights flicker, um, and then you see this hologram of Anna sitting there. Well, she's not saying anything. It's just a hologram of Anna. So now she's all freaking out. And you see in the um, previews talking about, oh, I'll do whatever you say. And I'm just like, okay, well, I, I mean, I know they want to sit there and take down Victor. And they're trying to do it in this long-winded, overly convoluted way. But I'm just like, man, if this was like the 90s, the very early 2000s, I don't know if we'll be getting something like this. This is how we're going to sit there and take down the great Victor Cassidy. Ghost Tricks. So we're using people. Now, going into Gregory, when he goes to the hospital, he runs into TJ, and he says something that's very ominous. I forgot what he said. It made me think of him. I thought I was going to sneeze. But he says something very ominous. And it makes me think maybe this is the real reason why he's not taking this job. It's because he's going in there 
for something that's like maybe a life threat. I'm like, wow, are you going to sit there and do this to my girl Alexis again? You know? It was that other guy. I can't even remember his name. Brent? Uh, the, 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 um, the therapist. Before, Neil. SG1 Stargate. Um, and before that, there was Julian, which was probably everyone's favorite. And it was Sonny's, and I don't know how everyone felt about that. But, I'm like, most people don't even like those scenes, to be honest, the scenes with Gregory and Alexis, and it's like, if they possibly kill this dude off, I'm just like, okay, alright, and honestly, in, in all reality, I, I, I don't know if they're going to go that route, they might, I mean, even though we're dealing with the whole Willow thing, I don't know if they're going to go that route with Gregory, but the dude is in the hospital for some reason. When he saw Chase, and Chase was like, because, you know, Chase hurt his arm, you know, boxing and stuff like that, in the punching bag. He goes in, and he's like, yeah, I'm here for my shoulder. What are you here for? And it just ends like that. But I'm not going to lie. When I saw TJ and Molly, and I saw her hanging out with, the you know, the Davis sisters, I was just like, man, this sucks. I know that the actress and other people are doing other things and the projects and stuff like that, but I'm just like, you know, you bring back Christina, because we've been wanting her back for a while. They bring her back. And what are they doing with her? You know, are they actually going to give her a good storyline? Or is she just there for exposition and, you know, a supportive role? Like, she used to have, here's the thing, she used to have such great storylines back in the day. Her character used to have such great storylines back in the day. Um, and I don't know what happened. I have no idea what happened. Um, and then we get stuff like this. And it sucks. Just straight up sucks. And I guess it's one of those things where it's like, you know, they're not going to actually give her anything. And what's the point of her being here? You know, I mean, I, I don't, I, I just, I, you know, for me, when I sit there and look at those scenes from Molly and Christina and Sam and Alexis, it's like, I guess it's supposed to be one of those cute fan moments, but it's like, maybe because I'm just very logical, I don't see the cuteness in it. I'm just looking at this like, this is one giant waste of space and time. Awesome. I'm so glad that you put all of them together to do absolutely nothing. Yay. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty much about it. I can't really think of anything else that happened. I mean, um, yeah, and a lot of people, not a lot really happened in this episode. Um, but to be fair, Di again, Diana and Robert were just pretty much filler. They, you know, they just kind of came there to collect a check. So, you know. <laughs> Awesome for them. Anyway, with that being said, I think I'm going to go. If I did miss anything, come through tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, going live and talk about all the soap operas, anything that I didn't cover throughout, you know, the day like y &R or days or anything like that, I'll sit there and talk about that during the live streams. Also, weekends is another time that I sit there and talk about the soaps. I spill a lot of more tea. So if you want to join those, um, those are exclusive member um, live streams. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to support the channel. Um, I'm putting out different videos for members only. Um, so so definitely check them out. You know, by being a member, hit the join button. It really does help. And um, yeah, with that being said, I think I'm gonna go. I want to thank you for watching. Be safe. Hopefully I'll see everyone tonight during the live stream. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.